Good evening, everyone. I'm Krista Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. We begin with a health alert from the Syracuse University campus. COVID-19 detected in the wastewater of one of the university's residence halls. Specifically, Ernie Davis Hall, and that's where News Channel 9's Josh Martin joins us live tonight. What have you learned, Josh? Jeff and Christy, just this afternoon, Syracuse University announcing COVID-19 traces being found in the wastewater at Ernie Davis Hall, which is over my right shoulder. Now, because it was found in the wastewater, the university doesn't know if it's a student who lives in the hall, somebody who works at the hall, or someone who possibly frequents it. The building has two sewers. One of them is for the residence hall and one's for the dining hall. And at this time, the presence of COVID-19 was only detected in the residence hall. Syracuse has decided to shut down this building and have all students who live here quarantine in their rooms. Everyone who lives and works in this building will be getting a COVID-19 test. And this is why this test was put in place. Syracuse University views the wastewater test as another opportunity to possibly catch COVID-19 before it spreads. The university is saying in a statement today it's confident it will stop the spread because of this early detection in the wastewater system. Live on SU Hill, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.